All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachahak, Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect and 144,000, Shalom, Baraka Thumb. This is just going to be the Friday uh, prophecy review. I was close to titling this, uh, you know, something along the lines of. Uh, uh, double standards, you know, going into the phrase, you know, rules for thee, but not for, not for me. And I'm speaking about the double standards that we see of really our own people, man. All right. That, uh, that have said very slanderous things about their own people, not just so-called black people, just not just uh, uh, Israelites, or even men that know that they're Israelites, but men that are in the camp that know that they're Israelites. I mean, Salakia. That you would slander them, the men that are doing the work. All right, but then the things you accuse these men of, and I'm speaking about Great Millstone, I'm speaking about Deuteronomy 22. All right, for years this has been a thing. It's to the point now. Apostle Tahar keeps bringing it up because y'all keep y'all keep running your mouths man y'all y'all have never let that go ever since y'all got hurt <laughs> you know when that interview with polite went down all right about you know that scripture because really you didn't have an issue with what apostle the said you really have an issue with the with the scriptures okay because you've been in america too long and you're weak all right you're scared and, and the reason we know you're scared is because when we see other individuals doing it, all right, there's no rebuke. Now, most recently that what came out over there in the uh, in the land, I'll just call it the land. If you got to watch the word that you use, you know, referring to those small hats, there was a matter where they caught, you know, them on camera. Now, we, we know they got people on camera doing way worse things. But uh, let's just say it was an act of Genesis, the 19th chapter, sodomy, okay, on those prisoners over there that they caught, all right, and it was done anally by force. Some of them with like piping hot, uh, you know, metal rods, man, all right? That's the kind of things that the devil is doing over there, all right? Now, these people, the, the soldiers that did this to those other combatants all right they were subsequently arrested all right and what happened when they got arrested all of these people over there in the land they rioted man they said let them go man they didn't do anything wrong well we don't see vocab out there condemning this we don't see the sakari out there condemning this or isupk or any of you camps that had a, that had an issue with a breakdown that we had which had nothing to do with that by the way all right, we were just telling you what the law is if it occurs, but now these things are happening and y'all are quiet, man. All right, and that's your enemy, man. That's that they would do that to you to a man. All right, and so the Lord is watching y'all, man. He's not just recording the things you say, He's not just recording the thoughts that go through your mind, He's recording your silence as well, man. All right. Remember, the Lord is not dealing with in-between Israelites, wishy-washy Israelites, man. He's not dealing with scaredy cat Israelites either, man. All right. Y'all call us scared, you know, for for not wanting to debate, but that's just a projection. Now we see it. Now that you look at it, it, it it's really a project. Y'all are the scared ones. All right. There's a few articles I'm gonna briefly touch on here. Um, but first, let me get this real quick. Mark chapter 6, verse 4. And Yahweh said unto them, A prophet is not without honor. 
all right? So what we're doing is an honorable thing. As much as people might scoff and ignore us, people respect the things that we do, man. When they see us out there in the rain and the snow, a lot of people, they just honk, man. They, they just like, wow, because even though they don't believe, they, they, they respect it. It's admirable to be out there, man, because it takes a lot to just go out there, all right? So we, we'll, we'll actually get more respect from strangers. Edomites will walk by, they'd be like, excuse me, it's the niggas you gotta worry about, all right? It says, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house, okay? So we have honor, but it's not among our own people, man, all right? Y'all think we get on other camps because uh, there's some kind of enmity or hatred, man? It ain't that deep, man. Okay? It ain't, it really ain't, man. It, 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 you go off. You get corrected. No one is exempt from this. And, and, and how do we know that you really got a problem with us? Because none of y'all other camps agree on doctrine. But y'all ignore the parts of doctrine where y'all disagree. Nobody got on IUIC about hell. All right. No one got on IUIC about you. You you going you uh the the Edomites gonna be able to make it or, or get some type of uh, uh redemption in the kingdom. Hey, sincerely, man, to, to hell with all of y'all, man. All right? If you're not of the elect, hey, hey, may may a harsh judgment come to you people, man. All right? Especially the one that know that you're Israelites. Anyway. Let's see. Let me get this preset real quick. Speaking about that matter that went down there and over there in the land. All right. Psalm 73 and 6. Actually, I'll just start at 2, man. It says, but as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well, had nigh slipped, had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, because the first of the nations, speaking about the Amalekites, the first of the nations, this is very anger inducing, man. This is very, this is very vexing. Okay, it's very frustrating. Not only that they're doing it and getting away with it, but they're the number one in the world, and our own people is willing to condemn us before they're con willing to condemn them. All right, but we take it all in stride, man. We count it all joy, as the scriptures say. All right, we're not going to get emotional about it, but it is vexing. All right, and you can be angry and vexed and frustrated without being emotional because emotional really goes into not being in control of your emotions it's not the absence it's not it's not the presence of emotions that make you emotional it's it's the presence of emotions with no control over it that makes you emotional see we have the emotions but through the spirit of the lord we have control of this thing we rule our spirit as the scriptures say man it's in proverbs so when we see these things, man, it's, it's very vexing, man. All right? Why why are Edomites on, on alternative news programs having to condemn this before you? Because y'all want y'all want to be, really, you're in competition with us, and we're not competing with you. Y'all want to be the top camp. We don't give a damn about who's considered the top camp, man. Because when you say top, it's according to Esau's numbers. Okay, when you say top camp, it's according to the quantity of men you have following you. To the quantity of dollars that you can raise and bring in. To the quality of the buildings and equipment and things that you can buy. 
see? That's why you need $6,000 for some damn camera equipment. For what, man? This damn iPhone I got can, can film in 4K. What are you buying $6,000 uh, equipment for? To do what, man? You're not running a production studio. Just do the work. You can literally do the work without even being on camera if you want to. But this is y'all measurement. Uh, uh, of being top and that's the means by which you're competing and that's going to get a lot of you destroyed if you're in one of these camps all right and you see this trajectory that they're going on they're not in the spirit they're not watching look you got to separate yourself man all right separate yourself remember those though that angel that came down all right that uh that, that was that was slaying the Israelites, 70,000 Israelites he, he slew, man. He did that because of something King David did wrong, man. All right, so just the Israelites that were there in proximity, they got judged. All right, now we know that most of them were probably wicked, but still, you don't want to be around uh, uh, iniquity, man. All right, it's not, it's not a wise thing. All right. The scriptures say a prudent man, he he, he uh, remove himself from evil. All right? Roughly paraphrasing. And I'm pretty sure there's multiple precepts that say the same thing, man. Because that's important, man. Half of the battle is just not being attached to it. Okay? That's half of it right there, man. Not being attached. That's what repentance is. All right? Repenting means you, you, you've turned around. You've turned the other way. That doesn't mean you made it. That just means you you no longer are with that. That's half of it right there, man. So if you're in these camps and y'all y'all should be able to read what's going on through the spirit, man. If you're locked in, if you're if you're a man of the Lord, if you're if you if you have the uh, sincerity, all right. Verse four, Psalm seventy three and four. For there was there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. All right, and, and it very much is. Anytime you're controlling all of Congress, anytime you can you can just start a war with the biggest nations over there in the Middle East, with no no worries at all, because you know, all right, Big Brother is coming to back you up. That's how you know their strength is firm, man. All right, when you see where where they are in society, which is at the top of every society, every major company. All right control over over the over the federal government what does that tell you man verse 5 they are not in trouble as other men neither are they plagued like other men because they are immune from getting cursed out apparently by israelites why do we got to be the only camp to do this man that's sad All right, it says, therefore pride compass compasses them about as a chain. Now for all the people in that nation to be out there rioting to free those men, those soldiers that did that, all right? That means pride has compassed them. The whole people are, are with it, man. All right, they're calling you an anti, so, uh, you know, you know what? Because you're 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 speaking out against that. You're saying that that's wrong, and they're calling you that. That means pride is is completely in control of what they do, man. And it has to be for you to be this rebellious to the Most High, man. All right, to be in the land that He gave to His seed, and have that much pride, and have that have that much wickedness and boldness. All right, that's pride right there, man. All right, it says, therefore, pride compassed them about as a chain and violence covereth them as a garment. All right, that's one of the main points I wanted to bring out. It's all good. Y'all can, y'all can have it. All right. Harris vows to accelerate the WEF plan, W-E-F, to... D pop to D pop America. All right, 
It says if she wins in November, that's what she's planning to do. All right. The UK Prime Minister vows to severely punish Brits who oppose the murder of three young girls. All right, and I believe there was a stabbing going on with the, with the younger kids. They showed the images. I was like, oh, damn, those were young. And somebody stabbed them up, man. That's where the world is going. All right? Y'all just wait, man. Just just wait till the lights go out here. And when I say the lights, I mean the all of the current comforts that you have. All right? Your whole way of life, your sense of stability is going to be ripped from underneath you, man. And it ain't coming back. All right. Look, 70% of students believe speech is more dangerous than physical violence. Now, how did that happen? All right. And you mean to tell me the, the, the famine of the word ain't on the way? Huh? The famine of the world ain't on the way. How how is that how is that correct, man? And they've been behind the whole time when these universities brainwash it. Your your daughter's going off from high to high school into college. She can't wait to go to college, man. Why? Because two things are gonna happen. All right, she's gonna come back with a body count over fifty. Okay. And she's going to be completely engulfed in this new age thought process. See, at first, I thought it was just feminism. But it's, it's not. It, it, it's much more sinister and much deeper than that. They've gone away with, with, with natural logical concepts like, like speech is violence. Okay? They take fighting words to, to, to a whole new meaning. Okay? They come up. They come up with concepts like like there is no such thing as, as right or wrong. It's all subjective. All right. So it's not just a, 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 a feminism and man bashing and and whatnot. All right. That's what they're learning there. This is Isaiah twenty nine and fifteen. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Jehovah, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? See. You just think women all of a sudden are just having this revelation. No. Esau planned and schemed and devised this whole thing. He coerced you to get into college. He made it easy as hell. How how is how is it you gotta be 21 to buy a drink, but you can you can at 17 years old you can sign a loan to go to college. You're 17, 18 years old, you can sign a a, a fifty thousand dollar loan. And he made it easy as hell. Everybody gets approved for a student loan. All right? So he snuck that in there. That's why there's so much debt going on. That's why student loan debt's a, a, over a trillion dollars, man. But it says, verse 16, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Good is evil. Evil is good. All right? There's no such thing as objectivity. You got something called solipsism. Think of, look at that word. Which basically means there is no reality outside of your reality. Essentially, you are your own God. Everything you see is a projection of your mind, your psyche. All right? You, you're the author of your own simulation, basically. nonsense man all right now we're gonna see if you can if you can uh uh turn off the fire and the flames when those missiles hit if this is truly your reality everything is subjective then then will yourself out of the this the, this fiery torment that's coming that's why isaiah 47 is, is written man stand now with thine enchantments because that's exactly what all of this is astrology and all of these things it's all related man all right, it's all uh, a, a giant gaslighting of the female population. All right, because they don't really have the ability to overcome a crisis, and they don't have the wherewithal to understand that what they're what they're walking into is a snare. But they've still been put in a position of power over the man. 
All right. It says, for the work, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? And that's what's taught, man. I'm not shocked at all that 70% of people are, are, are believing that speech is violence. In a country where they, they say freedom of speech is the, is, the, is the first amendment. Verse 17 is not yet a little very, it's not yet a very little while and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a force. It says, and in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book and the eyes of the blind shall, shall see out of the obscurity and out of darkness. All right. And that's, that's us, man. All right. It says the meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord Jehovah and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. Verse 20, going down to the main point. For the terrible is brought one, for the terrible one is brought to naught. And the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. All right. So all of you rooting for Esau, you're rooting for Kamala. They're, they represent the terrible ones, man. Esau, Edom, his rulership. All right, and all of you watching for y'all, all of you going to be consumed. You can't say, oh, I didn't know, oh, I'm not, I ain't with that part. I'm, I like that, but I ain't with that part. No, I spoke about being separate from this place earlier, man. All right, it says that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. So, that's a message to the men of the Lord, the prophets, man, that we got to be on guard, man. Did, did, do you see why we don't really have time to be bogged down and, and distracted with debates and, and your, your, your whack-ass double standards? They're getting ready to, to, to say what you're saying is violent. They're going to make you an offender. And they're going to lay they're going to lay snares for you, man. All right. Now, y'all might think that uh, that video with Apostle Tahar is, is a snare. All right, and, and you know, everybody starts shying away back, but that's written in the scriptures, man. And if you go to Deuteronomy 22, nobody's going to be able to gain say it, and it's going to be complete hypocrisy because what what happens? All of these judges do what? They sign in or they swear in on Bibles. Okay, this is why the scriptures say, "Don't worry about when they try to bring you up in the council and and and, and denigrate your name and and uh, 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 you know, assassinate your character, basically, they ain't gonna be able to say nothing, just like they couldn't get your Howard shot, man, with gotcha questions. All right? So all of you that got shaky, you got weak, you got emotional, you're you're the ones that are gonna get caught in the snare, okay? You, you're gonna be the one on, on, on video trying to, trying to call on the name while the guillotine over your head. All right? Now, some righteous brothers are going to suffer that, but it'll be in righteousness, man. All right? And all of those guillotines are not for the righteous. Most of those are going to be for the wicked. Okay? It says, And turn aside the just for a thing of naught. All right? So we we are definitely at the end of this thing. All right. Look, it says P E Do File who great young girl doused gasoline, doused in gasoline and burned to death by the mother. So the mother got revenge. All right. And you see this this more of this activity with the, with the little kid is all going on. It's going on right now, ramp rampantly, man. No condemnation from you niggas, man. No condemnation at all. Anyway, I'm going to end it there, man. Uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. And uh, on to the next one. Shalom.